new view for our project and blog listing and blog view we did and uh, here main thing is like you no know, we are missing some other things here so some static data is here we need to make it like uh, dynamic so let's restart the server once again okay we will run the symphony serve and then we are having some problem let's check some error it is showing let's check that okay this is the home controller and then we'll go to blog it is showing the list and it is okay here okay here the main thing is like what we have to do so next thing like we are going to basically we are going to bring this latest tree post the sidebar okay let's work on that so you see here now here also this sidebar is there and even here also this sidebar is the latest post okay so what we can do in that case no there are many methods for that so one thing is like we can actually bring it here in the view and we can actually bring it that uh, we can write it in um, index as well as mm. index as well as in the view so instead of that now the what is the best way to do that we will try to understand what is the best way to uh, make uh, the recent blog post we need to check okay <coughs> so the first thing is like we will try to bring it in the uh, index page okay let's do one thing we can have recent reason blog post okay recent post oh, it's better to have recent post comma is required and then we have post repository here we can use this post repository class and in the post repository if you look at that there are built-in methods are there so here you can see that now some examples they are giving find by example field or something like that so what we can do now we can actually uh, no no we can actually get uh, okay we can actually uh, get a recent post in different ways one thing is like uh, uh, we can give uh, criteria and then we can give um, order by and all these things but we need to do so we here you know we need to get only three post so here we are giving first result and max result you know so that limit and all we are giving so instead of writing everything here you now so we what we will do you now we will write find a recent posts okay but in every case it won't be three in some pages we may we may need to show it five oh, yeah. so okay. we, what we can do we can give limit, limit. okay so we can pass the limit here in our okay, case it is three okay i am passing the three here so we can write that function here so public function and remember that if you call a function that sh function should be defined okay so we can just simply copy this function name public function and function access modifier should be public okay mm -hmm. yes. so and then limit so by default let us give three, three. so if you are giving by default three you know you don't need to give the uh, in the argument no you don't need to give this limit three yes. if you wanted to modify you can give okay so we are getting it and then what we are doing it here so now what we can do no we are calling create query builder here no we can simply cost copy this and there this thing because we are calling it from post repository so what we can do now 
return we can write return and then this of because we are calling that from uh, repository okay. so we can simply paste it here okay there's two arrow operator is there so p and then we are getting the limit and obviously the first result will be zero so in this case we don't need a first result always and again how do you get um, latest so you need to order by p dot posted at okay what you need to do you need to order by p dot posted at and then comma descend because latest one should come first descending so you got it so this is very simple you can write it this way so what you are doing now you are checking p dot is published is equal to true that is what it is a prepared statement we are doing so we are preparing the statement and we are telling i need only three result and order by p dot posted at like this okay order by posted at date and descending that means the latest one will uh, first will come first okay i am doing it and in my index page i can go to my sidebar wrap okay this is the latest post now what i can do now i can take this section and i can uh, remove all the threes all the twos and then okay i am passing you know you know remember that i am passing recent post values here so in the template a variable called a variable called recent post will be there so what you can do post post in recent post okay you will be getting recent post here you know you can loop that yes. and then you can simply close that in for and then just simply make it beautiful by beautifying the code and here inside this what are the things you need you need the post dot title and the second thing is you can actually simply copy paste from here above so you can actually do one thing uh, posted uh, date will be there now post category and post content and then if you go to view you can get it if you go to now this one you can get it okay and you can go here and go here it here and then here we need what we need we need the path we already we need the path for that link okay when I am clicking on that now I should be able to go to that specific blog okay now I did this and let's check whether it is working or not I am let me go to my blog page okay okay if you see here so i am getting it my blog post see zero okay but the date is not printing so we need to check what is the problem post posted at date of js no 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 it is correct only there is some problem we are facing actually its tag is not closed properly okay span time okay date is coming okay okay now next thing is like we got all these things when we are clicking on this now it will go to my blog page but here it is not available so for that what i normally what you will do i have to same thing i have to call there also okay here it is okay one one line only but in the case of view page it will be multiple line once uh, duplicates it will be again duplicated 
so what i i can do no i can actually there are several methods for this the best way is like i can call render controller one method is available so i am teaching you a new concept render controller i can render another controller from my template so by using that what i you know a portion of the template i can uh, refresh okay and not ajax while rendering <laughs> it is not ajax okay you, you don't think it is ajax so that, that is called fragments and all i will teach you later so this is example in a sidebar no some part recent articles same example so what i will do whatever i return no i will create one more controller i can create one more controller okay this tab is required here and i will call up blog recent posts and then here i will simply write blog uh okay you can't do it here because i will tell you okay recent and then recent post it will be like this and then public function mm. i'll call it recent post okay and then you you are having you need to get this thing post repository okay and in the post repository okay now now what we can do now we can simply copy this thing and put it here we don't want all of these things we need only need only this thing recent underscore post okay so now what we have to do <coughs> so we got recent posts we need to add a response return type we added that so always the return type should be mentioned here after colon in 8 php 8 version previous versions it will be a normal uh, annotations model so we got this okay post and recent okay now we need to add this template let's add this template in the blog we can create a new template we can simply copy paste at that name now the name should be same okay what i can do only that portion so whatever i written here now this portion only this portion i can copy paste it here and i can run the controller now so if you go here blog so recent posts we will get it so i am getting an error why i am getting if you look at that this is matching this blog post so that means a route has got an order first first found whatever the first visible it will match the path will be match so how can we solve this problem we can go to here and we can simply copy and paste above it so that this will this this only will be matching so this will not match with that other thing so now let's check now if you check we are getting that portion alone in the web page no no need to use the layout no it is a partial it is a partial no ah okay so in order to make sure that this is a partial no this is not a full template we will give an underscore as a standard practice mm -hmm. so that we can understand if anybody template designer or designer is seeing okay this is a partial so that is the standard so we can give an underscore so it becomes it's a partial it's not a full template so that doesn't that means that you don't have to extend the layout okay now we got this now let us modify okay let's remove this and instead of that we go here now we can simply copy this block and we can give a controller in our case 
block controller and then what is the name of our action recent post action name not the controller and then we can give and here they are passing a max okay so that means so in one place we need five items in one place we need three items mm -hmm. like that so how can we um, put that thing okay in that case now what we can do so if you wanted to do that now we can give one more argument okay argument uh, int and then max okay and here default is 3 okay and inside this now we can remove this default argument because always we will be getting something because here default 3 and I will be passing max here okay so always we will be getting 3 and again this part we don't need this we will remove this and then mm, max always we will be getting 3 here and we are passing that max here and in the normal case we don't need to pass anything so let's run that so let's go here here we don't need to pass anything we can just comment that part so it will not work comment we can remove it and then we can run this okay let's run that and check whether it is working or not now we got the art recent articles now here the same way we can copy paste this render controller in the view also this is a new things to you know yes okay where it is recent so, post we want same thing, we can it. yes you can do that this is a server side call this is not happening from the client side uh -huh. so that i will tell you how the client side it will work okay later okay now you are doing it now so in the view let's go one blog post let's see that view so we got it here also no uh -huh we don't need to duplicate the code mm. we can easily do that i will show you how it is working if you go to your uh, profiler no you can see that if you go to the tweak see you can see that it is happening first thing is like recent blog post it will call it will take that and then it will take base layout and all these things and it will be adding that and if you see that uh, how it is working and all these things you now request response and all now you can see that how the response is being rendered and all these things yeah there is a sub request you see you can see that the sub request that means from the server side it is making another request and it is creating actually this will add some performance overhead but in some cases it is useful in some cases it will add some performance overhead. you cannot add like this more more things it will add a problem to your rendering it will increase the rendering time so based on your use case you can do that okay yeah okay now if you are going back here now even if you are having there is something network okay in this case it will not show in the ajax case it will show now you can even see that the code also from the profiler remember that the profiler needs to be disabled in the live environment okay now we got this block okay this part we don't want so we can remove that part this sidebar widget now this thing we can remove it okay this is not required in the view as well as in the index So next thing is like in the next part what we have to do no so I have removed it and in actually here um, tags are there I will tell you what is the tags now we will be adding the tags so now we got blog and all these things uh, and in the inside this now we got this latest post and all so let's check whether it is working for multiple so multiple cases now so if you go here now you are giving three here but in my index page i am giving three but in the in my view page now 
I want okay okay max 5 but sorry max 5 let's check whether it is working or not so I'm getting 5 see I'm getting it 5 okay let's check 10 is working okay now if you go to home page now I mean block page it will be only 3 because there we didn't given any max yes. value <laughs> so this way you can write sub request basically it is called render controller embedding embedding a controller inside a twig page twig template okay mm -hmm. so in this we learned how to write new function okay in the post repository how to write new custom methods to fetch the data you can write the like this many query builders so i am making some modification so right now whatever the query we written here now see this thing now this thing is like we can move to here mm. but you already having now the same thing yes. okay okay find recent post okay what you can do now you can actually uh, do some modifications and like you can reuse this function so i am giving it to you as a challenge okay. this is a challenge for you i am not explaining how to do that mm. but you can reuse this function and you can do it okay. if you so do some modification yeah, yeah. So you can you need like uh, extra thing is like you need a first result here. Mm -hmm. So how can you do that now? Uh, you, you do it yourself and so that you will learn. I am not giving you uh, that explanation. Mm -hmm. You try to do that. Okay. Yes. That is a challenge for you. And the second challenge now. Mm -hmm. Another challenge is like now. Uh, I want like this one more box. Uh -huh. One more box like this now. Mm -hmm. In that box now you can put categories okay in if you put that categories no so you can list down the categories available in the system blog system so whatever the added category you can show it here and you can give the uh, web agency like that category no so you can give uh, this button like this uh, um, not a button in the sidebar you can have like list of ulli in the ULLI one only category name if you are clicking on that category name it will go to the same it will come to the same page and then it will show the, show the block belongs to that category okay. Okay? okay so that is a that is your second challenge so you come with your explanation in the next session I will show you both of the things but you come okay. come with this thing and if you are not able to do it I will anyhow I will explain both of the things in the next session so do it okay so we are closing the class for this session in the next session we will come to see it again okay